Hello and blessings, my beautiful souls. How are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. I received a beautiful viewer request from a Jackie Gunn asking me to recommend some great audiobooks. I am so excited to be doing this video because quite frankly, I love talking about books. But typically on this channel, I speak about like tarot and witchcraft. But I would love to start involving more bookish content here because I love to read and I've really, really fallen in love with books over the last year and a half. So it's a huge part of my day-to-day -day life. You know, I'm constantly thinking about awesome books to read and I love the idea of, you know, certain books coming out, new releases or continuing with series or just sitting back and relaxing with a book, audio or physical read, doesn't matter. I'm not picky. I find that audiobooks, however, are specifically useful for me as a busy person because I can listen and work at the same time. So mundane chores are no longer as mundane because I have great stories just playing around in my ears and I love it and it makes time go past better. It makes mundane tasks like housework much more enjoyable. And it kind of gives me something to look forward to. It's a little bit of me time woven into a little bit of like incessant mundane obligation if you know what I mean so without further ado I want to talk about some of the best books to listen to on audible my own personal opinion of course but I do consume a quite a bit of audio books so I feel uh, moderately qualified to comment on this subject anyway let's get into it and I'm gonna show you some of the books that I absolutely loved to listen to in audible format Okay, so the first book that I'm going to recommend, or series for that matter, that I'm going to recommend as far as audiobooks goes, are the Diviner series, or is the Diviner series, I should say. Now, I absolutely love the Diviner series. Why do I have the physical book? This is book two, by the way. Uh, it's because I like to toggle between audio and physical read. Nevertheless, I love, love, love the audiobook narrator for the Diviner series. She is... Oh, Chef's Kiss Good, fantastic. Her name is January Lavoy. And oh my gosh, when you have your eyes closed, you feel like there are so many different people speaking in this book and it's all the same person. She is incredible, like incredible, and really brings the story to life. I'll talk a little bit about the type of book that this is. This is a paranormal fantasy. This is young adult, although it's got heavier, spookier themes to it. And it is about diviners. So people with psychic talents or magical abilities for that matter. It has a fascinating group of characters, the type of which you can really get behind. You get very invested in uh, the characters and Evie O'Neill is our protagonist and she's my least favorite character <laughs> in the entire series but I think the fact that you that I found her so annoying actually means that the author did a really good job on highlighting um, a character that you can have such a you know emotional response to nevertheless there's a fascinating tale behind each individual uh, book and it all starts coming together, if you know what I mean. But it's a bit spooky, and I'm a bit of a chicken. And I can honestly say that, you know, this was probably my limit. This is, the, yeah, there was just, there were some things. <laughs> Nevertheless, audiobook, absolutely fantastic audiobook narrator. The best, absolute best. So I started with the best there, and we're going to go back a little bit. Okie dokie, and this is in no particular order. Do not hold me to any kind of preconceived order, for the love of goodness. I'm going to recommend to you Skyward, and also Starsight, which I just recently finished. Now, these are two recent reads. They are young adult sci-fi, and audiobook narrator is good. Not as good as January Lavoy, I'm sorry to say, but still very entertaining. I love an accent, and the artificial intelligence in this story, which is Mbot, has a Scottish accent, which I'm very, very into, might I say. Uh, a brief synopsis is, uh, this is Spencer. She's the protagonist of the story, and Spencer grew up wanting to be a pilot in the DDF. And they're off-world, so this is a space sci-fi story, and basically they're consistently fighting an alien race. So to be a pilot in this world 
is about the most prestigious position that one can hold. Now, the story behind Spencer is that her father was a pilot and he was a very well-known, very well-respected pilot until a fated battle. Uh, and from that battle, he became dubbed a coward. He died and he died a coward, according to the story. So her story begins with her wanting to be a pilot and having to redeem herself under the umbrella of being a coward's daughter. So she basically gets given a lot of shit for that. Her story is fascinating. Her character growth is fascinating. Uh, she starts off really annoying and you're like, did you really just say that, love? And then you're like, oh, I kind of feel sorry for you and I, I get where you're coming from. And then eventually you're just like, finally, you're making some good choices. But the artificial intelligence in this one is fantastic. The next story that I'm going to recommend, and I'm going to have to go through my audiobooks here because, you know, there's some, there's some, the sum. Okay, the next audiobook that I'm going to recommend for you is... I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's possibly my favourite series of books uh, ever. Just, just putting it out there. And, of course, I'm talking about... <laughs> Anyone who's a member of my book club will be like, here she goes again! <laughs> I'm talking about Red Sister, or book one in the Book of the Ancestor trilogy by Mark Lawrence. Ah. Oh. I can't even with this story. I loved it so much. I mean, I banged on and on and on about it, especially in book club. Many people read it just because I kept on incessantly talking about it. And honestly, I'm yet to meet someone who didn't like it. If you read it and you don't like it, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't shatter that for me, okay? I absolutely loved the story of Little Nonna Gray. I mean... Assassin Nuns, Say No More, beautiful, oh, epic writing style, fantastic world building. It was a story that you can just lose yourself in. And the audiobook narrator, whose name I do not know, but I probably should look it up. Hang on a moment. Who was the audiobook narrator for Red Sister? Heather O'Neill. It was Heather O'Neill. Good on you, Heather. Fantastic. Oh, little Nonna Gray. She really just... Oh, I can still hear it in my ear when she says, Saida. And, oh, <laughs> I just loved it so much. It's Red Sister, Grey Sister and Holy Sister and that basically talks about the stages of assassin school. So there's a, you know, there's a magic school system, an assassin school system kind of thing. There is a magic system. There is just so much and there's intrigue and there's scheming and there's politics and there's more scheming and there is epic fight scenes and extraordinarily like graphic just violence but in a oh, in a way that doesn't quite feel like grim dark it just feels like a really freaking exciting story so red sister read it let's bond over that okay shall we <laughs> i'm toggling between audible and scribd all right the next lot of audible reads that i'm going to recommend to you is or are The Nevernight Chronicles by Jay Kristoff, who is, by the way, an Australian author. Now, his writing style, <laughs> some people love it, some people hate it. I did not mind it. Does he include footnotes in his stories? Well, yes, he does. Do people find that annoying? Yes, they do. Did I find that annoying? No, I didn't. I actually loved them. I found them wildly sarcastic. And because I listened to the entire book, I kind of got the Australian sarcastic edge to these footnotes and they were relevant in my opinion but that's just me uh very very interesting writing style now again grim dark so it's gratuitous violence so if you like high paced violent types of stories this is for you but there is a magic system Ooh, a girl that can manipulate shadows the protagonist is mia corveri we follow her from a young girl of around, I want to say six or seven, don't quote me on that. And things happen in her life and she ends up in an assassin school with 
a point to prove and some vengeance in her heart, like really fueling her. And she needs to be the best of the best in this assassin school so that she can be a, I guess, an assassin for Our Lady of the Blessed Murder. Of oh, Blessed Murder. Yes, Our Lady of Blessed Murder. <laughs> Doesn't that just sound like too much and like extra? But it's so entertaining. It's so entertaining. Now, I've realized that I've spoken most about fantasy. So, Nevernight Chronicles is adult fantasy, as was The Red Sister adult fantasy in the previous two stories. They were young adult. I also want to recommend to you as audiobook, also equally good as a, you know, sit down and read book, is The Wicked Kingdom by Kerry Maniscalco. And that is a witchy fantasy story about Italian witches and demons and hell princes and what have you. Nothing super spectacular about the audiobook narrator, it's just a great story and one that can be easily consumed by, um, you know, by listening to it. There are some audible or audiobook narrators that are very, very annoying and quite frankly I find the audiobook narrator for all of Sarah J Mass's books to be oh, nails on a chalkboard. Like, can't get behind it, just can't get into it. Nevertheless, uh, Wicked Kingdom, Kerry Maniscalco, witchy, witchy fiction, like the good stuff. And I think that's kind of new adult as, as opposed to young adult. Um, if you want something a little bit sexy, a little bit smutty, a little bit like new adult as well, like in, on the cusp of between adult and young adult, then From, from Blood and Ash by um, Jennifer L. Armentrout. Don't mind if I do, Poppy and Hawk. Don't mind if I do. All right, moving along because let's face it, I've done enough fiction right now. So I also listen to witchcraft nonfiction on Audible as well, and I have heard some really good ones. So I'm going to recommend, well, first and foremost, Chaos Protocols, my friend, Gordon White. Yes, his Chaos Protocols book is now an Audible. <sighs> so fun when that happens. I really like it. And I, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't there in his ear going, <laughs> when are you going to narrate all of your audiobooks? He did not narrate um, Chaos Protocols, but still, it's in audible format. So there you have it. Another witchcraft uh, non-fiction book that I really enjoyed in audible format was Old Style Conjure by Star Cassis. Um, great southern accent in that one. So it really brought it to life for me. But if you're from that part of the world, it might not really tickle your fancy. This is just my perspective anyway. Uh, what was the other one? Oh yes, The Black Toad by Gemma Gary. We just finished this one as a buddy read and absolutely wonderful uh, English audiobook narrator talking about um, West Country witchcraft of the Cornish variety. So Gemma Gary is known as an author of traditional, kind of more Cornish style West Country witchcraft books. So think Cunning Folk and Pella Work, think The Booker, think The Devil. Uh, <laughs> very, very, very entertaining, very rich with information as well. And the Black Toad is actually quite a small book, so it's a fast listen. So if you wanna consume something, you know, on the fly, um, it's a fast listen. I think that's all of the recommendations that I have for you, actually. I prefer to listen listen to fiction. I'm a big listener of fantasy and fiction, and I toggle between adult and young adults, and I just, sometimes I dip my toes into sci-fi, but I wouldn't call myself a sci-fi reader. I really just love, love fantasy fiction. That's my, that's my escape. That's just my, that's where the good times are had for me. But seriously, if you take anything away from this video, the Diviner series, January Lavoie, oh, she's so good story-wise and audiobook narrator-wise. Heather, whatever her last name was, I've already forgot, who did the Book of the Ancestor trilogy by Mark Lawrence. Start with Red Sister and tell Nonna Gray that I said hello. All right, my beautiful souls, I will check in with you again soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit 
extra for me because I don't often talk that much about books on my channel but I'd like to change that because I love to read and I know that others in my vicinity do as well so with all of that said and done if you have any of your own great audible narrator audiobook recommendations leave them in the comments below and I will chat to you again soon much love many blessings Mwah.